And that's something that we um, monitor pretty close here um, at the nursing home is uh, depression and what to do to help everybody with that. And when you come into a nursing home, you are losing a lot. Maybe they're losing their car, their home, their uh, familiar setting, uh, routine, um, their independence. And so you need to look at that with that person and um, try to help them out. Maybe they need some counseling to help go through that grieving process for some of those losses. And that's all they need. Well, you need to look at that person as a whole, um, not just kind of lump everybody in the same category. Um, you might want to look at um, their um, history. Have they been on medications their entire life? Have they been depressed their whole life? Um, is the regimen that they're taking right now um, something that has worked for them and, and you don't want to alter that? Um, do they need a little tweaking to that regimen um, to give them a little lifting? Um, that might be the case too. Um, are there symptoms, conditions that they're experiencing that are mimicking uh, the depression symptoms that we are seeing. Pain can cause somebody to be very sad um, and that would be something that we would need to address whether they need some more medications. Um, are they bored in their room? Do they need some more activities or um, are we missing something that they routinely did at home? Some of the elderly are very stoic and so they don't present in the same ways as maybe you know young, the younger population uh, would. Uh, you have to kind of look for sometimes some subtle clues, um, whether or not it's the outright expression of I'm sad, I'm lonely, I'm depressed, or whether it's um, possibly uh, coming out through behaviors, whether they are hitting or swearing or refusing to eat or drink, you know, maybe that could be something that they're um, telling you that in that way versus, you know, a younger population saying I'm sad and I'm depressed. Everyone's different. Watching the transition from the older um, Brookview Manor into the neighborhoods at Brookview, you watch a change in the residents um, and even the staff. Um, this is their home and that's what we're trying to um, stress that upon everybody. This is their home. Um, this is not just an institution that uh, people come um, to live or to rehab home. This is their home and we need to treat it like one. And giving them the, those options um, and the privacy of a lot of the private rooms I think has helped enhance their quality of life as well as the options for um, activities um, and just giving them a say in their daily routine as much as we can and you know not being so rigorous in the routine of an institution. You're up at seven o'clock, you're up to breakfast, you're laying down for um, a rest, you're up at 11 for lunch, you know, giving them a say I think really helps um, um, allow them some of that ownership of their life and not taking it all away from them.